Bang, we've got one. Look at this, two guys at once. Oh yeah. We have a very nice squid on. Absolute beast. Well, look at that. Welcome guys. Look at the conditions today. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm actually doing a solo mission today on the kayak and uh, we're gonna chase some garfish and some squid. So if we can get either, that will be awesome. So the water's pretty clear. It is overcast and the wind will pick up a little bit, but um, we'll see how we go anyway. Let's get on the water. Whack them under there. Got our burly bait in there. I might get the bait out. Bit of pippies and silverfish in there. Whack that there. sound with these uh these wheels Let's put our um, pedal in. It's done. Alright, we'll put our squid right in here because we won't be using it for the time being. Alrighty, we are off. Alrighty guys, we are here, mind this little pole here, <laughs> tied to it, so we've got some pippy, we've got some silverfish, um, we'll probably start off with a bit of silverfish, I'll just cut that, we'll get one of them out because they're really big, so all we want to do is cut little cubes up. That should be it, so we've got our float rig float two little hooks on here fly hooks and uh, we've got a couple split shots to get down there so we're going to put our bait on that's one we might put a bit of pippy on the other one actually just to change it up see if they're interested in that Alrighty, just cast it a few metres in front of the kayak, and that should be it, perfect. On the other one we can chase some squid, but um, for now I want to put a bit of burly in. So I'll just hook this up. Put it at the back here, and uh, grab our burly cage out squashed prawns and uh, should work a treat. Look at that go. Shake it up and even more will come out. Oh yeah, that's what we're after. So this is the ground that we're after. So we've got broken ground in there, some sand and some weed beds and uh, that is perfect. Got our burley running, our float just up there and uh, all we need to do now is just wait for some guards to come 
Well, hopefully they rock up and uh, we can get into a few. What I'm doing too, I've got some salmon and I'm just gonna take little bits and pieces off that. It's just gonna float down the water column and uh, bring that in. I normally have some bread and stuff, but um, don't have any, so I've got to do with what we've got. And just like that, that's all we want. And with our prawns going in the in the column too, that should definitely bring them in if they're around the area. My float just went under, guys. See if he comes back. Oh yeah, it's going down, it's going down. Come on. My kayak's in a bit of an awkward position at the moment, but um, let's even get a few. Come on. Why oh, clean me? Cast it back in there. Back where they are. I'll reverse the kayak so you guys can uh, see a bit better. There's fish on it. Got him. Please be a gar. Oh, it's a gar. Oh, it just came off. Damn it. All good. At least they're here. Flick it back in there. This is going to get messy, guys. I need to get all my rags ready. Take the billy pot again. Get them all around the kayak. Oh, yep, it's going under. Got him. This one's staying on. This one is staying on. Good go. Oh, it just came off too. They're jumping all behind the kayak too. So look at that. Nice little garfish. That's good. So what I'm going to do is just recast that. Still got my bait. Look it out there. I'll try in front of the kayak this time. Already, already went under, guys. Jesus. Another one on. They are everywhere, and this one is a good one. Oh, I got two gars. I got two garfish at once, guys. Oh my god. Look at this. Two gars at once. Wow. No wonder why they were heavy. This is nuts. And the other one here. Looks like uh, we're going to do pretty good this session. So we've got a beautiful gar there. And we've got another gar there. Now what I'm going to do is pre-cut my baits. So just dice them up in cubes like so. Now this time of year, look it is pretty cold. But it's awesome to chase gars this time of year. So bait that back up. And let's catch some more gars. I think one of my baits came off. Yep, got one. Oh, I think I had another two. And we got another one. Now, the reason why I don't film a lot of garfish videos is because I have to clean the lens every single garfish I get. They're just so messy. They've got guts, shit coming out, scales, <laughs> all sorts of stuff. So, put that there. Bait the other one up. This is when the rags come in handy. Let's see how quick we can get another one. Bang, got one. Oh, good gar. Good gar, look at that. This is the perks of gar fishing. Tangles, 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 especially when you've got two hooks on. So what I'm gonna do, and light lines. So what I'm gonna do is just um, snap that off like that and stick with one hook. And uh, because they're that thick, you can just um, get one every single car. So just put one hook on, bait it up, and whoa, they are jumping all around me. And that's it. All done. Fling her out. Hopefully they're still here. Shake the burly pot again. Yep, got one. They're waiting for me. Ooh, another nice one. Just butt the bait out. Bang. So all you need to catch these gars with is pretty much basic float setup, couple split shots, small hook, and a cube of silverfish with a little bit of burley. Just shows you don't need a lot of burley, um, but burley is key. Flick her in. See how quick it takes to uh, get another one. 
already one on it. Bang. Just like that. There are guys everywhere. Oh, just came off too. Bang. Oh, just got him that one. Hear that? Put a bit more bait on. I put one more split shot on because I needed it. Um, that way the float stands up a lot better. And we'll just cast it in this sand patch here. Shake the burly pot a bit more. And uh, should go straight under. Three, two, one. Oh, there was one on it. <laughs> There we go. Another one. Scoffed at that one. Still got bait. Thanks, mate. Flick her back out. Sometimes every now and then you want to move it a little bit. Just to get their attention. Just like that. And uh, there's one on it. Smash that one because the float. Oh, and he came off too. Back in there. Bait's just sinking down. Move it a little bit. Let it sink down again. Move it a little bit and bang. Good sized gars. Perfect eating ones. Good thing is they're, they're kind of mixed too. So there's your average size ones and then there's monster ones. So that is awesome. We'll just um, keep them around. So I'll get that salmon, cut it all up again, just to get them in the area. All right, that should be all right. Oh, I can see all the guards. There's big ones right here. Look at all them gars. And I got one on. Whoa, there's monster gars in there. Another nice garfish. Look at that awesome blue line along his body. Let's get into a few more. Let's see how quick it is to get a gar in that burley. Just fix the bait up a bit. Straight in the burley. They should absolutely smash it straight away. Oh, already on it. It's going sideways and I let it eat it. Bang. Good guard too, that one. Ripper. Woohoo! He scoffed that one. It's right down there. You can see him everywhere in there. Bang. Oh, that's a good one. Going all right, and another nice car. How good is that? Hey, come here, buddy. Now, when it comes to eating these guys, absolutely beautiful. They just got a lot of bones, but apart from that, they're also very good bait when fresh, especially for snapper. Scoffed it again. Look at that. Put a big cube of silverfish on. See if we can get a big gar. Whoa, there's some nice ones there. Straight underneath the kayak too. Yep, bang, already. They are everywhere. Oh, just got my bait back too. And this is why Victorians love to chase gars, to catch these guys. The gars are even eating the salmon I, that I just threw in. They might be a bit shy because it's right here, but um, watch this. It's one on it. He's eating it. Bang. Oh, good gar. You beauty. All right, guys. The gas have not stopped biting. It's been absolutely crazy. And I'm near my bag now. So I've just got a bit more bait on. And I'll show you how easy it is to get them. My bait is so far up the water column now because I have to cut. Because, you know, gas tangling and all sorts of bits and pieces. So retying and all sorts of stuff so there's a gar on it now oh there's a lot of swell at the moment too 
and we've got another gar. Look at that one. What I've done is taken two of the split shots off. That way the bait sinks down more naturally. And because they're everywhere, they just smash it on the drop and um, results. Well, there we go, guys. Some beautiful garfish. We got exactly our bag. So happy for that. Solo mission on the kayaks. Bit messy, but awesome fun. So put them away straight in the cooler. Yeah, we'll do a couple drifts and we'll see if we can get into some squid. Alrighty, since we're done with the burley, get them into a feeding frenzy. Just some cooked prawns. Have a go at that. Straight down to the bottom. All the fish are going to be happy. I'll just show you that they're still in a feeding frenzy. I chucked all that burley in so they might be munching on that, but watch this. See if they're still feeding. Yep, got one. Nice one too. Just like that, got a beautiful gar. Don't want to wreck him because um, he's going back. So I've got my limit. But look at that, off he goes. Now the current has changed and it's starting to pull hard. It's an incoming tide. For squid, it's not gonna be the best, but we'll still do a couple of drifts anyway to see if we can pick up one. But um, you can always give it a go. Squid on. We've got one, guys. How good is that? I think he's all right. It's not too big, but um, he's all right. Oh, one little tentacle too. Yes, we got him. Look at that. He got me. <laughs> Damn it. All the black ink too, all over me. Perks of squid fishing, eh? Bugger this one here. Mr. Squirter, that's for sure. Nice little southern calamari. See if we can get into a few more. Alrighty, let's go get a squid. Oh yeah, we have a very nice squid on. Now it's going to go. I've got no net either. It's a size 4.0 jig. Oh no, I only got 10% battery left on my GoPro too. This is a big dog, this one. Whoa. I don't want to go too hard on him. What I might actually do is pedal forward to him and um, just wind. Oh yes, it's a good squid. It's a really good squid. Should be right here. It's down deep. Oh. Have a go at that. Look at that poor squid. How am I gonna get him? I'm gonna open my bow arm. Yes, we got him. Look at the size of that. That is a beast. The 4.0, guys. I'm telling you, the Kraken Slayer. <laughs> what a squid this time of year. That is a donkey. Look at that. Jesus. Look at those eyes. That is a rip of a squid. I'll turn the... I'll turn the kayak around. Look at the size of that. Absolute beast. That is awesome. That was a ripper of a squid. Unfortunately, it's midday now and I have to go in, have some lunch and uh, get back to Melbourne. So I'm gonna leave them biting too, I guess. Because I doubt there would have been one by himself. But anyway, that's fishing. And we got a nice feed of gars and squid, so can't complain. So I'm going to head in now. What a blast, guys. What an awesome solo mission on the kayak. Bagged out on garfish. 
left them biting and then finish it off with a couple of squid and one of them being an absolute stonker so hope you guys enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already to see more awesome adventures and i'll see you guys in the next one